Okay, here we are. Wow. Thanks everybody for joining us today. Um, this is this has been a, a wild day <laughs> of learning. Thank you for being part of a really special day. We had thousands of people uh, call in from all over the world and code together and build websites and learn Swift and analyze data. And um, we hope it's been a great start for you and has inspired you to learn new and valuable technical skills from home because you can, <laughs> as you saw today. Um, so I wanna check in, see, um, tell us in the chat, like how everybody's, how are you feeling? <laughs> Kenny is our hero. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. <laughs> taking part in this um, and I'm just happy to be included it's all good Yay. Um, also on the line with us is somebody who you may or may not have seen um, depending on if his camera was on and off on or off Mike Mike Jewett is here um, current director of community and platform Mike give us give us a few thoughts on what you think is next for learners after today yeah so <clears throat> we learned a lot today. Um, I think we learned that, I mean, this is the first time we've done something quite like this. So we've tried some other uh, various live streams before, but um, to put it all together in like a, in a full day conference with tracks, um, that's something that yeah, this was the first time. And, uh, you know, just uh, based on everybody's um, engagement and your comments and your questions, all of which were, were really awesome. Uh, I think we learned that there's a, uh, really a, a need for this. And, uh, you know, one thing that Elisa and I talk about um, on the community team a lot is, you know, ways to, to humanize the learning experience with an online platform like Codecademy. I mean, our, our curriculum team writes, um, you know, in our opinion, the, the best curriculum in the world, and it's really engaging and we have a great environment to, to learn interactively. But there's still that aspect, that I think that a lot of, and maybe you, you know, the reason why a lot of you attended this um, conference is because, uh, you still want to learn with other people like you do in a classroom. And so if we can, you know, one of our missions on, on the community team is to really combine that world-class curriculum and figure out how to rebuild those classrooms virtually online so that you can have that experience of working with others, working with experts, professors, if you will, like uh, the people you see in this room. And uh, that's, that's what we're going to try to do. So, you know, going back to Lisa's question about, you know, what comes next, I mean, we definitely, I think, are very excited about today. I think it was very successful and we want to do more of these and we're going to put them together. We're going to figure out, you know, tweak the format, um, figure out uh, different parts of the curriculum to, to offer, but it's something that, uh, yeah, I think you can expect to see more of. I love it. Thank you, Mike. Oh my gosh, someone has been voting for a podcast <laughs> in some of these sessions and I really appreciate uh, it is Thomas. It's Thomas Levin. That's cool. Okay, so to follow up on what's next, I want to put something in the chat right now. It's going to have a bunch of links. Um, so if you can't, I'll put it in a few times just in case it gets lost because it will get lost as the chat continues to go on. Um, but in, in wrapping up, I want to share some resources for what's next that, um, for, well, first, join us on Discord. It's real-time chat. It's a great way to, if you, if you want to ask a question, maybe you, you want to go to the forums at discuss.coacademy.com, but you're like, oh my God, I don't know how to word this question. You can start at Discord first and like work that out with somebody. Um, there, I put in there the course that was just opened up for today. So hi, Zoe. Zoe's here to join us too, yay. Um, probably the most important <laughs> part of this is that these Code Academy backgrounds are available to you too. <laughs> you too can have one of these Code Academy backgrounds. Um, we put a link to the blog post or our content marketer, Megan actually just made those live to you, sort of like a virtual goodie bag for everybody who came today. And finally, um, when you continue learning to code and when you get stuck, visit the forums at discuss.coding.com discuss.codecademy.com and get help from other learners like you. Okay, so today was Learn From Home Day. These are all your educators and your instructors, these wonderful people. Um, I'm asking the question to 
you attendees, and I'm gonna go around and ask everybody here, one by one, what's one thing that you learned today? I'm gonna start with Nick, because my, my view is accusing you of writing bugs. So let's start with you, Nick. <laughs> okay. Um, I have two. First, I learned how to uh, better set my alarm. <laughs> uh, because it's LA and it's early over here and I woke up kind of late and put Sunny on the spot but it worked out um, so I guess I learned how, learned how to wake up quickly and I also learned about the tiny verse for some reason the name just like really does something for me um, if you took the learn R you learned about the tiny verse um, for packages in, in R yeah thank you um, Alex D what's one thing you learned today question um i learned that it is so much more fun to code with people than just by yourself that's excellent um alex Kuntz, what'd you learn today oh man i uh i put kenny on the spot in our uh javascript one and asked him to like start opening up uh the the console and start doing some crazy javascript and he uh he handled it like a champ so i learned that kenny is good at going with the flow and if we do these again i'll uh I'll ask him to do more, more wild JavaScript stuff. Stop trying to sweet talk me, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Galena, what's one thing you learned today? Um, I learned how to host a webinar. This was my very first one. So I was very nervous, but I'm really happy with the way it came out. That's so excellent. I love how I did not know that. <laughs> Even when you were presenting. That's so great. Mike, let's go back up to you. What's one thing you learned today? Oh, one thing I learned. Um, yeah, I think just that uh, that this kind of format can can really work. And, um, you know, even though it was, you know, at first we thought like 90 minutes felt like a long time for the session. But then as we got through them, you know, I think a lot of attendees I saw posting that, you know, they wanted more time. And so just trying to figure out like how we can get better at these, um, you know, is, is something I'm going to be thinking about and, uh, and do more of them and uh, just help people learn in like a classroom type environment like they did today. Great. Yeah, I'm seeing um, in between the praise for Kenny, I'm seeing that 90 minutes flew by. <laughs> Speaking of Kenny, what's one thing you learned today? Uh, well, I was a student for Alex and Zoe's P5 uh, creative coding course, and so I learned a good amount of P5.js today. That's excellent. Sunny, what's one thing you learned today? Uh, I learned that I think everybody on curriculum, like there, I've seen a lot of people here live stream before, but um, this is the first time I wrote this in Slack, but I, this is the first time seeing Galena and Alex D doing a stream, and I was very, very impressed with that, so. Shout out to them. Excellent. Camelia, what's one thing you learned today? Well, I learned from our learners that when I get really excited about statistics and data science, I start talking too quickly. <laughs> so they taught me to slow down. Um, but no, I, I also learned from Ian how like he was so patient and going through all of the code and that's just like, that was really impressive. To Ian, what'd you learn today? Uh, well, I definitely uh, learned uh, some more forecasting analysis from Camellia. Uh, definitely helped bring brought, bring the insights into uh, the code that I was writing. So thank you for that. Uh, but I was also uh, reminded from all of our learners how global we all are and how people are coming from everywhere. And it's uh, always refreshing and exciting to uh, see that uh, you know you're learning and you're engaging and uh, you're everywhere. So keep getting out there stole mine but that's fair <laughs> zoe what's one thing you learned today um i learned that there are a lot of people out there who are interested in creative coding uh but haven't learned about p5 yet so it was really awesome to very quickly jump on that panel this morning um, i wasn't originally on it um so thank you again to alex and kenny for being so welcoming and it's really happy to be a part of it and really excited to share p5 with hundreds and hundreds of people. So excellent. Um, I think that to, well, let me ask, is there anything that we're missing? Can we, can we do a uh, group photo with these Zoom backgrounds? 
<laughs> one more time, one more time. Okay, hold on. Um, let's... We're, we're trying to get Kyla in here too. I know some people oh, in the chat were saying that uh, she's not in, but uh, she may be in, in a meeting or Are something. Are we missing any? We'll try to get her in here. here let's just see. missing Kyla right now. Okay, now, 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 now our learners are like, where's Kyla? <laughs> okay, well, if she comes, yeah, if she comes, we will do that. Um, I think that unless there's anything else, oh, apparently I'm frozen. Oh, I'm going to keep going. Unless there's anything else here from this group of people, um, I want to end us on a massive giant thank you to everybody. Um, for a moment, let's realize what it's like <laughs> to be coding at home and learning alone versus what we did today and how cool this is. And it's cool because every single one of you showed up. So um, for my what I learned today, besides the excellent one that I swear to God I was going to say, but <laughs> if Ian did it, is that we're going to do this again. Like, we're doing um, more of these, more of this. You asked for it. We want it. Um, this has been the greatest ever. Find us in our online community spaces. We are there. And we hope that you all have a great rest of your day, morning, night, afternoon, wherever you are. Thank you. Just one, one. one more thing. Um, oh, yeah, one more thing. <laughs> uh, just one, one last thing. Um, just want to remind everybody that uh, Lisa and I are going to work on getting all the recordings together. Oh. Um, we're going to uh, put them on YouTube and also email everybody um, with links to not only the sessions that you attended, but the other sessions as well, just so you have everything. But uh, just need a few days to get that together. So hold tight and, um, you know, we'll be in touch over, over email. You know what I haven't heard in a long time is applause or at least a month. Like I haven't, you want to like un mute yourselves and like just give our learners a round of applause and then we'll sign off. Are you down? Is that going to work? All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> that sort of worked. All Kenny right. rocks. Kenny rocks. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> Kenny rocks. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Oh. What? <laughs> awesome. These are amazing. <laughs> okay. So good. Signing off. <laughs> I'm gonna screenshot that. <laughs> All right, bye everybody.